Little action cameras are all the rage at the moment and arguably the best on the market are the new GoPro Hero 3 and Contour Plus 2. But out of these two, which should you buy? Well, to find out, we're going to try them out on a selection of cars we had randomly lying around our garage. Yeah, you didn't expect me to test them out on a group of super minis, did you? We're going to see how the two cameras fare in a variety of conditions and compare their picture quality, sound quality, functionality and price. But first things first, which is the simplest to operate? It's got to be the contour for me. It's easier to set up because of the lasers, the fact that you can rotate the head and then when you're using the app on your smartphone, the Bluetooth connection is a lot faster than using Wi-Fi with the GoPro. Right then, let's get down to business and see what the two cameras are like a recording video. And for that, I'm going to enlist the help of some of the road testers from Auto Express. They're going to do a little bit of precision driving for us and then we'll see how the Contour and GoPro recorded the action from on board the cars. So let's go. For this, both cameras' lenses are set to their medium width. That's 120 degrees for the GoPro and 125 degrees for the Contour. Both are recording in 1080p high definition. For these in-car shots, the camera lenses were set at their widest setting and that's 170 degrees in both cases. In this mode, the GoPro can still record in 1080p high definition, whereas the Contour can only shoot in 720p. Now let's see how the two cameras cope with slow motion video by slowing down our footage. For this, we set them to the highest frame rate they can shoot at 720p definition. At this setting, the Contour can record up to 60 frames per second. The GoPro, however, will shoot twice that at 120 frames a second. Finally, it's time to test the two cameras in low light conditions, so let's go on a quick nighttime tour of London. We've tried the cameras in a wide variety of conditions and various shooting modes, so which one overall produces the best footage? I'd rather go with the GoPro because it's, um, as an all-round camera, I think the image quality is better. Um, it copes well in low light and it copes well in um, very high contrasty situations, as in a bright, sunny day there. Um, you can put the GoPro inside a car, outside a car, behind a car, facing the sun, and it will cope well whereas the contour is very contrasty and it overexposes easily. If you like a warmer tone, then you go for the GoPro. Me personally, I prefer the warmer tone and I prefer the less uh, contrasty tone because like that, at the end, I can add more contrast to it. Well, it's close, but the GoPro just edges the contour in terms of picture quality. However, that's not the only thing to consider when choosing an action camera. Now we need to see what these little cameras are like a recording sound, and for that, I think we'll use the Lamborghini's V10 engine. I'm, I think I'm dead. I've had a listen to both of the clips and I think the contour sounds slightly cleaner than the GoPro which is a little bit distorted and rattly. Finally we need to talk about the price of these things and that might seem a little bit ridiculous when I'm stood next to a Lamborghini but let's face it for most of us the cost does matter. The highest spec GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition we've used costs £360. It comes with a waterproof case and a remote control though the free smartphone app makes this piece of kit a little bit redundant. To get you going, you'll also need a memory card, which is £8 for a 4GB card. You'll also need a suction cup mount, and that's 30 quid. All this takes a total to £398. The Contour Plus 2 costs £360 and comes with a waterproof case and a 4GB memory card as standard. 
Its suction cup is £35 and this takes the total to £395. However, the Contour includes built-in GPS, which means you can track your journey, speed and elevation using Contour's excellent free Storyteller software for your computer. So then, which of these two cameras is the best? Well, you can think of the GoPro as being like this Lamborghini. It's got stacks of performance, but it's a little bit tricky to use, and with all the extras, it's a bit expensive. The Contour, on the other hand, is more like this Mercedes. You see, it's better value overall, and of course, it's got all the performance you're ever gonna need. Plus, most importantly of all, it's easier to use and live with every day.